Today we're going to have a look at how we get um, a really sort of durable finish, quite a luxurious finish on timber which, I don't know if you can see that, it's a really nice relief in the grain, it's shiny uh, and it will really add a lot, of, quite a lot of uh, a really striking and bold finish to some, some quite treat material. So if you want something striking then this this is what you, this is what I've, I've done in the past and it, and, it, and it really looks quite nice. If you, uh, you like this video and you want to see more stuff like this then please like and subscribe. Right, so let's go through what you're going to need first. So first of all, you need a bit of plain timber or anything like that. So this is a PAR, it's planed all around uh, pine. Just get it from, from all builders merchants or anything like that. Um, so. For this project, what I've got is just a little, a really simple um, a, a sort of for, for a monitor to, to lift the monitor off the desk so you can put some books underneath it and get it at eye level. So, so I'm going to use this and show you what I do. So, what the tools that you need, you're going to need a soft brush like this, soft so it doesn't scratch. You're going to need some some bry wax, which is just like a like a turpentine sort of beeswax or sort of mix which you can just get anywhere so anything like this will, will do the trick. Some microfiber cloths so one to put the wax on uh, and one to clean to clean all the, the soot and the char off um, which I'll show you in a minute uh, and maybe some wire wool as well just to just to sort of polish it up and, and take some of the scratches out if you've got any uh, but this, that's not necessary not absolutely necessary. Um, and also a way of burning things so let's go and what you have to do is you have to burn quite deeply as well because you want to be able you want to so the, so the so the lines so they burn at different rates so that the white stuff will burn quicker than the than the than the than the amber stuff so what will happen is that when you come to brush it off then more of the white stuff will brush off and give you give you the relief and the depth in the timber, which I think is, is one of the best bits of this. So when you're doing it as well, try and make sure you get all the yellow bits out and so it, it looks completely charred. Right, that is the fun bit done. So, the next step after waiting it to cool down a little bit is to get this soft brush, get it from anywhere. You can get two different types, I mean, we get many different types, but this one is a really soft one. And the reason I prefer a soft brush, because if you use a firm or a stiff brush, you'll scratch. You'll scratch the the char, or you'll scratch timber underneath the char, and it won't it won't sort of look at nice. You'll you'll still see the scratches in the in the timber. So what we have to do get this soft brush, and we just basically just scrub it until we get all the char off, until we start to see some of the the nicer timber underneath it, and you'll see that it starts to leave a relief. Right, so there you go. We've got all the char off now. Let's get all this crap off here. So the next step is to get next step is to get a microfiber cloth, and with that you're gonna polish, you're gonna scrub it up with a pot 
with a cloth and that will get all the, the last remnants and the last little bits of, of soot off it. So when you do that, it really starts to shine up. So as you can see, look, you're already getting a really nice finish and that could be a finish on its own, depending if that's what you want it to do. got that looking quite nice. Give it a quick brush. Get one of those. And now what we're going to do is get another microfiber cloth but and get the brow wax and now just start putting coats of brow wax on. I put you put the first one on, leave it about five minutes, put the second one on, put the third one on, just basically put as many coats on as you want until you get the sort of the level of shine that you're looking for on it. Just on it so bad. Let's, uh, in fact, we we'll use the old cloth, we we'll use the black cloth. Get that in there. And we we'll start that. And it will instantly go dull, but that's alright, because that's what it does. Keep putting it on until it starts to, until it doesn't look dry, until it looks a little bit, a little bit dull. When it looks dry, you've not put enough on, so just keep putting, just keep applying a bit more. And just finish the rest of the surfaces. By the time we've finished it, it should be time to put another coat on. So, let's have another go. So, also, I know that the, the outsides are the face sides, so I'll probably put a few more layers or a few more coats on the outside and not so many on the inside because people just aren't going to be looking there and it just saves a bit of time. Anyway. Right, we've put two coats on, this would be the third. As soon as it goes dull, it's time that you can get a cleaner cloth. That's why I've got two cloths. Get a cleaner cloth and start buffing it up. So, here we go. Shiny, Sh not shiny, dull. Right, and there you have it. So for me, I see you see a lot of a lot of stuff on the internet, a lot of burnt timber, and it looks really patchy, and I don't like it. I like this. It gives you a relief on the timber. It gives a really luxurious finish, and it took me about 20 minutes to do this. So <sighs> consider it. Have a think about it. And if this, if this is the look, this is the dark look you want to you want to get, and you can't afford walnuts, or you can't afford, and you, you've got a bit of timber, a bit of pine, this is for you. Right. Thanks very much. Like and subscribe.